Greetings all and welcome to Dave's Craft Room and on today's video I have pulled a whole stack of gorgeous wolf sweaters just like the one I'm wearing. These sweaters are so stunning and I'm gonna make a quilt out of them. Now the tea about all these sweaters is I ordered them on eBay. Some of them were too stunningly gorgeous for me to cut up such as the one I'm wearing. So I set those aside, but the rest of these are kind of like in bad shape. Like they are so old or like this style, I mean. So I don't really feel bad about cutting them up. Also, I'm putting them to better use. They were not getting used before. They're gonna get used in my quilt. So I'm gonna make a sweatshirt quilt and, oh my gosh, I'm drowning in sweatshirts right now. I might not cut this one up. This one fits. And there's a story behind this one. Sweatshirt material, making a quilt, what are the considerations? Number one, sweatshirt jersey stretches. So you can use an iron-on interfacing, but I don't think I'm going to because sweatshirt jersey is so thick, I'm already concerned about the bulk. I don't want to add even more bulk at the seams by doing an iron-on interfacing. I think I'm going to be okay without it because the sweatshirt jersey is is thick and more stable than t-shirt. The edges are not gonna curl up and stuff. The next thing is, this is what I'm gonna use for the back. This, These are fleece blankets. I could have just got fleece material, but the fabric store is closed right now. So I just bought these two fleece blankets. I'm gonna piece them together. I bought two different colors intentionally. The background might, the backing might be a little bit piecemeal, but that's okay. I'm going for a rustic vibe. I've been digging the rusticness recently. I'm not going to use batting because it's going to be thick enough already. The batting is just going to be way too extra. So I'm just going to do this quilt top with that fleece blanket backing and that's it. And I, I haven't fully decided how I'm going to quilt it. There's no batting so it's not necessarily essential that I quilt it thoroughly. I can just, as long as I hold it together, the two layers, that's good. So for the design aspect of it, I think what I'm going to do is a grid. I'm going to, and it'll be a pretty big grid. Let me set this one aside. I really like this one, but it is too small to wear. Cut my sweatshirt block and then use the back to cut another block and make a grid like that. It's that simple. And then if we don't have enough to make, or if it's not big enough, then I'll just piece two pieces together to make that square and that'll be fine too. And then I want to distress these with bleach because I just did bleach tie dye with Austin. So now I have bleach on my mind and I want to distress them, maybe not necessarily all of them, but I think I'm just going to like flick bleach on and put some in a spray bottle and squirt it or like hold it above and drip it. I don't know exactly, and I'm gonna do this outside on the balcony because the fumes of the bleach are gonna kill me. I have to bleach it, then wash it and dry it to get all that out. Step one, cut. I'm gonna leave the sleeves off for now. If I need more extra material, I'll have the sleeves to dip into for that. So here I go, just cutting, cutting, bleach. While the bleach is doing its bleachiness, that's when I'll process the rest of the sweatshirt fronts into the proper size blocks. Then I'll have the other blocks, the bleach blocks, done and out of the washer and dryer, and I can proceed and assemble the quilt. So here I go. one this is not one of the ones I bought on eBay this is a sweatshirt that I own about two years ago I went to a work event and I wore this and there was one of the security guards at the party and he loved this sweatshirt so much and he wouldn't shut up about how much he loved it and he really wanted it and I was just like, I mean, if you really want it that bad, you could have it. I had a t-shirt on underneath, so I gave it to him. 
I gave him the sweatshirt. And he felt horrible because he didn't want to take it. And I was like, you really, you can have the sweatshirt. Like, it's not, it's just a sweatshirt. I really don't. I mean, I like it, but I really don't care that much. You can have it. He liked it so much. He wore it for the rest of the party. I wanted him to have it. But then I guess as he was leaving, he was like, no, I'm not going to accept it. I had a Jeep. There was no windows or doors on the Jeep. I found the sweatshirt inside the Jeep. So he didn't take it. He gave it back to me. I'm going to keep it because it fits. I'll set it aside. I have enough without it. Then again, putting it in the quilt could be a better way to memorialize it. I never wear it. Whatever, I'll see. I'll, I'll make the decision later. the moon but it's on the same level as the collar so if I have to keep it I have to keep the collar or not the collar but this part which maybe I will same with the pockets I might keep them I don't think it's gonna read as a pocket though this sucker is huge I'm now distressing the sweatshirt jersey with bleach and it must have been raining that day or something because I switched to the garage but I'm basically just squirting or dripping or spraying bleach onto these pieces of sweatshirt and then I wait 10 minutes for the bleach to do its thing and then I wash and dry the fabric.
I am ironing these seams open because that's going to help me avoid bulk. They pretty much stay the way I ironed them, but there were some that just didn't want to be ironed in any direction, so I just let them do their thing. I'm not too worried about it, it's only a blanket. Alright, so the top is done. It is so stunning. I absolutely love it. It is a square, which is unusual for me because I usually make rectangular quilts, but I'm okay with it because it's big enough that it doesn't really matter. And uh, my original idea to use the fleece blankets for backing is not going to work because there's not enough. So I have one online and I've ordered sweatshirt jersey. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because I originally wanted to use sweatshirt jersey but I can't find it in my area I have to order online it takes forever to get things to the island so in two weeks I guess I'll finish it when the um, sweatshirt jersey gets here I ordered I think five yards I hope five yards is enough this sucker is pretty huge actually it's one of my bigger things I'll come back I'm gonna fold it up I guess and uh be done for now I sewed the backing onto the front right side down and then I turned it inside out and now I'm closing the hole with a ladder stitch. The next step is to stitch around the edge and then start the quilting. I just outlined each block with embroidery floss. Since there's no batting, I don't need to do a whole lot of quilting.
So this is the final result. It turned out so comfy. I absolutely love sweatshirt material. And I decided to give this quilt to my dad who also loves it very much. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel and please come again.